Linus Torvalds, the creator of Linux and Git, has just released a new project and repo. But the wildest part isn't quite that. It's the fact that there may be some vibe coding associated with all of this. We're going to get into all of this and explore this new project. But I want to talk about the hints that Linus has actually been giving us. And clues like the LTT collab that they just recently did where they build a computer together on Linus Tech Tips. And during one of his latest conversations with Dirk that was hosted by the Linux Foundation during their open summit, Linus actually talks about his hobby project that he's been working on. It's funny because right after saying stop talking about AI slop, we get Linus actually using AI in the way that he's always touted about how it needs to be used. Again, we're going to talk about that. It's all interesting, but let's get a little bit of a taste of what exactly Linus has been up to in his new hobby project. So, um, some people have really odd hobbies. Some people, for example, build their own uh, uh, oh. pedals for <laughs> string instruments. So can you talk a little bit about the effect panel, uh, pedal hobby that you have? Oh. So the background to this very odd, specific question is that last Christmas I started doing guitar pedals for fun, which makes no sense because I have zero musical ability. I had never touched an electric guitar in my life, but I wanted to learn about electronics. And, uh, and so I started doing guitar pedals, first as kids and then designing my own, and they're all horribly bad. And uh, I actually don't want to encourage others to do that because it's completely pointless. Uh, all modern guitar pedals are all digital. But I did it because when you have, and this is something I do encourage people to do, when you have a stressful job that is high stakes and you feel like, like you need to do something else to relax, you should find a hobby where failure it's not only expected, but it's actually fun, right? <laughs> and it doesn't have to be guitar pedals. It can be anything. For me, it happened to be soldering and making hardware where I knew I was completely incompetent and I actually enjoyed it. Uh, some people think that failure is a bad thing. And I happen to be one of those people who actually enjoy doing things I'm not good at because it's how you learn. And, and uh, then you really need to expect to fail. And I've been at it for a year, and I still haven't learned. Um, I, I disagree. And, I have some of your pedals, and they're getting a lot uh, better. But uh, it's, it's something I would encourage anybody in this industry, because it can get kind of stressful sometimes, especially with if you're in open source, at least for me, the most stressful part tends to be people. I don't find the technology stressful, but sometimes when you have disagreements and you really say, I want to take a break and I need to do something completely different, that's, that's when you want to have a hobby or something where, where you can just say, hey, this has nothing whatsoever to do with my job and failing is fine. And for me, it was electronics. And it's really funny as Linus has given us such massive projects before and now we're actually getting another drop. I don't think this one's gonna become quite as massive, although it already has, after just a few days, 1.2K stars and almost 39 forks, which is kind of hilarious. He calls this another silly guitar pedal related repo. And in practical terms, he's been designing and building his own digital guitar pedals and learning about digital signal processing from scratch and seemingly having fun learning a new domain the same way he always has by building a small honest project and then releasing it to the world. Anyways, you can imagine that it's under a GPL 2.0 license and let's read what he has to actually say about the repo. So another silly guitar pedal related repo, the digital RP2354 and the TAC5112 based guitar pedal actually does work even if I'm not thrilled about some of my analog interface choices, i.e. the pots in particular, and I'm going to hate the clicky foot switch even if I do love how it also doubles as a boot selector switch for programming. But while the hardware design is archived, while I ponder the mysteries of life and physical user interfaces, I'm still looking at digital effects on the side, 
But right now, purely in a, since it's all digital, let's simulate it and not worry about the hardware so much. These are the analog circuits that started my journey. Toy effects that you shouldn't take seriously. The main design goal has been to learn about digital audio processing basics, exactly like the guitar pedal was about learning about the hardware side. So no fancy FFT based vocoders or anything like that. FFT just stands for fast Fourier transform. It's just a math algorithm that, that can take signals from time domain to frequency domain, and it is used in a lot of signals and systems programming like audio. Just IIR filters and basic delay loops, which IIR stands for infinite impulse response filters, which is another class of digital filters where each output sample depends on the past outputs as well as the past inputs. It's just a feedback loop. And let's Linus learn about digital signal processing by mimicking analog electronics. Everything is single sample in, single sample out, and no latency. The sample may be stored in a delay loop to be looked up after or later for each effects, but it's not doing any real processing, which this is really cool to see as it kind of takes me back to coursework that I've done in the past for electrical engineering, including my signals and systems, analog electronics, and digital signal processing classes, where we simulated similar filters in MATLAB and then actually built the analog versions with passive components. So I can definitely get behind this project. It's really cool that he's really emulating things with software here. I was happy with how the TAC 5112 had sub millisecond latencies for feeding through through the ADC to DAC chain. ADC stands for analog to digital converter. That just samples voltages at a fixed rate and then converts each sample to a number. And, and then DAC just stands for digital to analog converter. So the reverse, right? Turns numbers back into voltages. You could take a circuit, read some values from something external, process them, and then and then spit them back out. So again, this is where hardware meets the software chain. And this is meant to continue exactly that kind of thing. Plus, it's not like I've done any of this before. So it's all very basic and simple just by virtue of being a newbie. This is a bit humbling because it does show how deep the stack really is, even for someone like Linus Torvalds, who's responsible for some of the biggest open source projects out there. I should remind everyone, including engineers, nobody starts as an expert, fundamentals matter, and learning never stops. Just remain curious, it's great. Again, it's humbling to see because it shows a legendary engineer treating a new field with the patience and respect the needs. Anyways, to put it another way, the IIR filters aren't the fancy AI emulated cab, kind of modern pedal or guitar amp. No, while they do emulate analog circuits like a phaser, they do. So by emulating the effects of an RC network, resistor capacitor network with just a digital all pass filter, not by doing anything actually clever. Basically, for those of you that don't understand, Linus is just saying that he's mimicking how a simple resistor and capacitor circuit behaves and emulating them using straightforward digital filters. Now, this is probably the wildest part of this whole entire thing. As I read through this, keep in mind, now this is probably the most surprising part for me at least, as Linus is a C expert through and through, Linus has always used C from since the early 1990s where he started writing the Linux kernel. Everything that we've seen from him has pretty much been C, so it's wild to see this. Also note the Python visualizer tool has been basically written by vibe coding nonetheless. I know more about analog filters and that's not saying much than I do about Python. So he's introduced a completely new language in this just to give him a front end. That's hilarious. We all know that he strongly dislikes front end and UI work. So the fact that he's over here actually working on front end, nonetheless in a whole different language and then vibe coding to do it is just hilarious to me. It started out as my typical Google and do the monkey see monkey do kind of programming, but then I cut out the middleman me and just use Google anti-gravity to do the audio sample visualizer. And it's really cool to kind of see this from Linus as it has around 52% C code and then Python is 42% for his front end visualizer, all in this brand new repository that's public now called Audio Noise. You can definitely check this out as everything was committed and sent out a few days ago. And it's really cool to see his pure engineering curiosity here shared openly by someone who doesn't need to prove anything and chooses to learn anyway. And I wish him the best on this. Anyways, did anyone see this actually coming? I did not. I figured he'd just keep this to himself. But the fact that he has released this is pretty cool. So of course, I don't think we'll ever be able to compare audio and noise to Linux or Git as far as importance goes, but it's pretty cool to just see Linus approaching problems again, starting from fundamentals, keeping things grounded. And he doesn't really pretend that complexity is intelligence, instead just tinkering and exploring 
course, you can imagine that the issues list is already being inundated with goofy stuff, with the first one called, I'm opening an issue for Linus. And then we just get a bunch of random names thrown out. Anyways, we do have some useful ones, but I bet you these get uh, turned off quite soon as we actually had this same problem all in the Linux repo as well when it came to issues and that actually got shut down a while back. Anyways, very cool to see Torvald's audio noise. Let me know what you think about this. Have you ever messed with guitar pedals or your own audio processing? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. What projects are you working on? And don't forget to subscribe below and smash that like button for more videos like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.